Welcome to 8% Club. I'm Cody Askins and I'm excited to spend a little time with you today on how to succeed as a new insurance agent. We have almost 6,500 subscribers on YouTube, so I want to thank you for that. I love coming to you guys. I love helping you. And it's sad. It stinks. It's bad that 92% of people fell in this business. And today, I'm gonna to make sure that you're not a statistic, that you're not one of those numbers. I love Fridays because I love that theme, right? You guys wanna be an eight percenter. You need help. And today I'm gonna to help you because we had an agent walk in, want to tour the office earlier today saying, hey, I'm struggling. Steven, dude, I got you today, bro. Today's topic brought to you by Steven. He's a new agent struggling like a lot of agents are, right? And it's because you don't know what to do, when to do it, and today I'm going to give you specifics on how to succeed. How to make six figures over the next 365 days as a new insurance agent. Watch it on Facebook and YouTube. Who's okay with that, right? You guys are probably like, dude, I need this. I want this, and I'm ready for this. You can also see that I'm getting geared up for April Nation, the Insurance Wealth Conference in Dallas at the Statler with Michael Irvin. I'm going to spend a bunch of time on stage at this in front of a thousand people helping you succeed. Just like I'm doing today with some free stats and free statistics. All right. So I want to touch on one thing real quick, right? So the main theme of everything that I preach, here's the main thing that I preach to a new insurance agent. And then I'm gonna give you three things of why you're typically not doing it or doing it inefficiently. Is it okay if I do that? Let's do it. All right. So new insurance agents need to sit and ask 10 people per week, right? We talk about, I talk about this a lot. You guys see this on my videos. I had a guy, Tyler, that I used to play basketball with in college. I didn't even know he got in the insurance business. And then he sends me a picture of my face on, on, on YouTube. He said, hey, I looked up, you know, new agent insurance tips and, and you were the first five videos, Cody. It was nuts, right? If you're not watching our YouTube videos, you need to be watching those. So this is the theme that I always talk about. Sitting and asking 10 people every single week to buy insurance, whatever type of insurance you're selling. But today I'm going to give you three supporting themes, right? I'm going to give you three things today that will help you do this or that if you're already doing this and you're not making money, then these will help you be more efficient so that you actually make some freaking cashola. Is it all right if we put some money in your pocket? I'm not, I'm not talking baby, baby little do, diaper doo-doo money. I'm talking some big Matthew Jones and Dylan Corbett type big money, baby. I'm talking about some big money today. So the first thing, right? I'm gonna break this down into three different areas, right? I'm gonna break this thing down into three different areas today to help you do this. Most insurance agents never do this. Most insurance agents struggle with this. Most insurance agents, even if they're doing this, they're not doing it effectively and efficiently, right? So the first thing, the first thing that agents struggle with, they struggle with prospecting. The average new insurance agent, true or false in comments right now, true or false, struggles with this, right? This is a massive struggle for insurance agents. You're struggling. You're on the struggle bus, as they said last year we were selling tickets. Prospecting. It's a massive struggle. Why? Why is it a massive struggle, right? Why is it a massive struggle? Because you don't know what to do. You have no clue what to do and when to do it. If you don't know what to do or when to do it, you may end up doing nothing at all. You may end up doing nothing, and you probably are. You're probably doing nothing right now, and today it's my job to fix that, right? So before I even get to two and three, the first thing, prospecting, I want to talk about three different areas. I think that you need to be working a rolling 100, right? We talked about the rolling 100. I think you need to be working a rolling 100 with your warm market. I also think that you need to be working on 
you need to have leads coming in consistently, at least 10 a week minimum, right? And that's even small. And then you need to have, you need to have one other area that could be like, it could be a, it could be networking, it could be businesses, right? It could be, you know, whatever it is, pastors, like golf professionals, whatever your area, maybe you, maybe you have area, uh, maybe you have an expertise, maybe you used to be a construction manager and you're, you, you know construction managers, like some type of avenue for you to prospect and get in front of people. So some additional, I love the three areas, rolling 100 and leads are the best, but that third one, something you can pop off a decent sized case every once in a while. So prospecting, right? Prospecting is a massive struggle because agents do not know what to do. That's why I want to focus you right now on three areas. You say, Cody, I want to sit and ask 10 people to buy every single week. Yes, you do. Rolling 100. We can get you in front of about four, five, six a week, right? Leads. We can get you in front of four, five, six a week, right? So we're there, or at least close most of the time, adding that third avenue or area, whatever that is, is something that can also help supplement these two areas of prospecting. The prospecting book, Prospecting Made Easy, says on whatever page, I can make up a page, but I don't remember what it was, says if you can't write down 500 names, I believe it was, 500 names of people that you know and love that you can help, then you're not serious about the insurance business. You're not serious about prospecting. Agents don't know what to do. Insurance companies are hiring people and they're saying, hey, go sell people that you know, that, that you know. Write down 150 people and go sell them insurance. But you don't know enough to confidently do that. That's why these other two things are huge. Yes, you gotta prospect. Yes, you gotta sit with people, but that's only part of the equation. I preach sitting with 10. Set 15, right? I, I preach this all the time. Set 15, sit with 10, sell five, right? I've heard of new agents that are sitting with 40 and selling four. There's a disconnect. Something's wrong. Something's off. It doesn't make any sense, right? So that's the first thing, prospecting. What is number two? Number two is product and sales training. If you don't know how to get in front of people, you'll struggle with it. If you don't know how to call your warm market, you'll struggle with it. If you don't know how to call leads, if you, didn't, if you weren't on our call to close three hour live training on how to work leads and how to effectively work the freaking telephone, then you may struggle with working leads and calling people, right? It, it may very well be the case because you don't know what to do. It's a poor excuse, but it's true. Product and sales, you gotta know your products. You have to know them inside and out. I'm not saying you have to know everything about everything. You don't, but you have to know what you're selling. Sales training, uber important, right? You need to know the, the, the appointment process, how to call a lead, how to text a lead, what to say, how to leave a voicemail, how to create urgency and carrots, how to ask follow-up questions when they tell you I don't know, how to structure an appointment so that when you get to the end, they see so much value and trust in you that they buy on the first appointment. How to overcome objections, how to close, how do you ask proper questions? How to get answers to get the right questions? How to build the benefits? How to build the value? How to warm up? How to cool them down? How to get referrals? All of these things are value adds in your business that new agents do not know. That's why CodyAskins.com was built. Because I want to help new insurance agents with a university of 140 plus training videos for, for, for new insurance agents. Also, call to close, three hour live training course focused on how to work leads. Call, text, leave voicemails, shoot emails, you can do that from phones now, right? Vo emails, all of it. Sales training is super, uber important. If you don't know how to do all of those things, like when someone gives me an objection, I know how to squash it. I know how to get people to make decisions whether they want to make decisions or not. They say, I heard it the other day, I was in a mastermind the other day, and they said that there are salespeople and then there are closers. I'm a freaking closer. Are you a closer or are you just a salesperson? There's a massive difference. Salespeople 
pitch products. Closers get people to make a decision. There's a massive difference. So sales training, so that you know how to pitch, you know how to text, you know how to ask questions. You know that when you're on the phone, you have to ask a question. You know when you're on the phone that I've got eight tips that most new insurance agents violate. What are those eight tips? We'll go back into some videos, grab the university at CodyAskins.com. Your new, new insurance agents, 99.99% .99 of new insurance agents are doing things incorrectly and they don't even know it. And a little bit of time and money can fix that because it's better if you know and then, hey, I'm going to be more successful because I'm aware. I know. I'm serious. And I know what to do. Product and sales training is huge. You have to be good at sales to succeed as an insurance agent. Like if you don't know those things, that's a massive, massive problem. That helps you get in front of people because you could prospect, but if you don't have product and sales training, it doesn't matter. Especially sales training, you're not going to know how to get in front of people because when they say, hey, I'm busy, I'm sick, I don't want you to come over, I'm not interested, I hate you, they hang up, whatever, they cancel, they want to reschedule, whatever. If you don't know what to say immediately from hours of role playing, off the cuff, you're just pulling it out and you're saying it. If you don't know, you will end up not knowing what to say and you won't end up getting in front of those 10 people every single week that you need to get in front of. That's why product and sales training is huge. And I haven't talked enough about product training, but it's important. It's really important. Those two things in combination are huge. What do you guys think the third thing is? Facebook and YouTube comments right now. What do you guys think number three is? How to succeed as a new agent? How to help you sit with 10 people? What, are the, what is the third thing? Prospecting in three areas, right? Rolling 100 leads, another area, whatever that is, your area of expertise. Product and sales training, those all help you get in front of more people and succeed. The third thing is a system, right? It's a system slash a schedule. A system and a schedule. Most agents do not know what to do. They don't know what a 10 hour blocks are or 10 blocks of the week. They don't know what to do on Monday evening when they have no one to see for the week. They don't know what to do on Tuesday morning or Friday afternoons or they end up wearing a pink shirt, sitting in a bing bag, eating Cheetos, watching Netflix and broke because they do not know what to do at all. Like they're a hard worker. I, you know, agents say, hey, I was in construction or I did roofing or I did retail or I was a waiter or a bartender or whatever and I worked hard. But when I got in the insurance business, I was prepared to work hard. I'm not lazy. I just don't know what the heck to do. That's the most common theme I see is there's no structure at all. We could add another S, call it the triple S deal, right? There is no structure, no system, no schedule, no structure. There are ideal weeks for insurance agents. There are systems to help you get in front of 10 people. There are schedules to help you be more successful. What do you think? If you are an agent that's just floating through life, or if you're an agent that has a system, a schedule, or a structure, who do you think is going to have a better chance of being successful? This dude that's over here watching Netflix on Tuesday at 2 o'clock, or this dude that has a scheduled system that produces activity and results. Which do you think it is? A system, a schedule, and structure is important. Extremely important. If you don't have it, you don't know what it is, you don't know what to do, that is a major issue. That's the number one thing that new insurance agents struggle with is when someone says, hey, you need to prospect to get in front of people, this is what they think. What the freak is he talking about? I need to get in front of people. Well, how? I need to go run appointments? When? I need to go make sales. How do I get in front of those people to sit with 10 and to succeed? Because the average new insurance agent is sitting. They're not sitting with 10. Average insurance agent sitting with one, two, three people a week. 
And if they are sitting with 10 and they're not making six figures, it's because they don't have the training or the ability to close people. They don't know products. They don't know sales. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to get people to make decisions. That's why a system, a schedule, and some structure, hey, here's Monday, here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday, here's Wednesday night, here's Friday, here's Saturday freaking morning because it's the best time of the week to call. You don't know that, right? And somebody tells you Saturday mornings, Sunday evenings, Mondays and Wednesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, right? There's times where people are more successful picking up the phone than they are Tuesday at 11 a.m. But you're picking it up Tuesday at 11 a.m. because you don't know what time to pick it up. Or you're not picking it up at all. Or your office is telling you, hey, pick it up 40 times a week and that'll be great. You'll be wildly successful. I can pick up, I can pick up the phone 40 times in an hour. What am I going to do with the other 167 hours of the week? Probably nothing because it's a big old freaking question mark and a goose egg because I don't know what to do. I have no system. I have no schedule. I have no structure. I have the ability. I know I can work hard, but if I don't have structure, if I don't have training, and if I don't know where to put forth my action and activity, how to put forth the action and activity like when, what to say when I do put forth activity, and where to put it towards, then I'll probably not sit with 10 people. I'll probably not be a part of the 8% club. I'll probably be a 92 percenter, and I probably won't even think about doing this. How many, show of hands, comments, Facebook and YouTube right now, you know what I'm talking about because you're going through it every single day. I get stories from insurance agents daily that are struggling because they do not know what to do. And if that's you right now, we can help, 100%. We can help, we have training. This is the exact reason we created CodyAskins.com. True or false, Dylan? It's the exact reason that we created CodyAskins.com is for those people that are new, that don't know what to do. That's why I did a three hour live training for 40 people on how to work leads for three hours. You say, well, dude, do you got that much content? And we had, we had probably more content than that, right? We want to help you succeed. That's why we do this every Friday at 2 o'clock Central Time. We appreciate you being a subscriber. We appreciate you commenting, liking. If you have questions after this, put them in comments and we will answer them because that's what we're here to do. If you're like, hey, I need training. I need to know. Uh, then you may want to go to CodyHaskins.com. If you want to be around successful people, you want to network, you want to learn, then this is for you. If you need leads, then secureagentleads.com is the place to be. Any thoughts or questions, D? Um, D, no. D Corb? I mean, we got people talking, but no, cool. uh, no questions. Cool. Thank you for talking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for hanging out with us on this Friday afternoon. We're in Springfield, Missouri. Who knows where you're at? We get people that watch it and comment from Canada and New Zealand and the Philippines and, you know, all over the place. Matt was probably watching it when he was down in the Dominican Republic. All over the place, man. We love helping you. I, I want to help you succeed. One final word. In closing, I want you to succeed as a new insurance agent. And the best way to do that, obviously, you know you got to get in front of people. That's a given. I don't know any insurance agent that doesn't understand that. Like, if you don't get in front of people, you don't make any sales. It's common sense. But there's layers to how to get in front of people, structure, training, and certain areas of prospecting that can make a massive difference. If you apply these things, say that, where do I get the structure and schedule and stuff? Well, if you don't know, like, go back and watch some of our other videos or go to CodyAskins.com. Our little, our little monthly program has a lot of stuff about this kind of stuff. You say, well, what about pro product and sales training? I don't know anything about sales training. I don't, I don't even know how to work leads, right? I don't know what to do or what to say. Well, then go to CodyAskins.com and we'll fix that. So we've got trainings and universities. And, and if you're a new agent and you're struggling, we got 150 videos in a university for you. And if you're like, hey, I don't know where to get leads, well, we can help you there. 40 to 50,000 leads a month. We did a million dollars in lead sales in the first 10 weeks of the year. Maybe they work or we wouldn't have sold them a million times. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate you being part of the 8% Club. I love hanging out with you. I want to see you successful. I am here to help you. 
Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you Monday for insurance agent training. Appreciate you guys.